Hi, I'm Dr. John Young, a medical doctor here at Foundational Health Center. And today we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about iodine, or the, what I like to call is Lugol solution. Iodine is a mineral. I think it's the eighth um, mineral on the periodic chart, something like that. But it's a mineral that the body has to have if it's going to function properly. Years ago, we used to get iodized salt. You could buy it anywhere. And nowadays, more and more, I'm seeing that the salt we're buying has very little iodine. In fact, they say non-iodized salt because there's been concern about people having iodine allergies. I talked to a radiologist recently. I said, you know, you're, you're telling a lot of these people that they have a reaction to this contrast dye that you use for a number of uh, medical procedures and that they should stay away from iodine. I said, you know, is that really true? And he said, well, John, no, it's not really true because what we're really saying is this, it's probably the protein that the iodine binds with that is causing the allergic reaction because you rarely find on earth iodine by itself. It's always bound to something like in shellfish, Seafood is bound to chitin, which is a protein. So we kind of lump it all together and say, listen, you had a reaction, you're allergic to iodine. And that may not necessarily be true. I do talk to people who say, you know, I, I've been told I have an iodine allergy. Well, what about shrimp? Do you eat shrimp? Oh, I love shrimp, eat it all the time. They do not have an iodine allergy. They have a chitin or a protein, a type of protein allergy. But we in America have kind of said, if you have any type of reaction, don't use it. And that's something that you're gonna to have to discuss with your doctor. I use a lot of iodine in my practice for several reasons. The thyroid needs iodine to convert T4 into the active thyroid hormone, free T3. Uh, people complain of dry skin. I will give them iodine because iodine tends to liquefy cholesterol, pushes out through your pores, makes your skin smooth and silky. People who have dry mouth syndrome, dry eyes, I will give them iodine because iodine tends to make more tears and saliva. I can always tell when I've been taking too much iodine that when I talk, I tend to spit, so uh, I will cut back. I had a lady I'd put on iodine a number of years ago and she called me up in the middle of the night, John, I took, instead of three drops of iodine, I took four. Should I go to the emergency room? Have I poisoned myself? I said, no, you haven't. In fact, for her to make her feel at ease, I called the Poison Control Center, because I, I was an uh, ER doctor back then. They went through their literature and said, John, we've gone through all our literature. We can't find anybody that's ever died from overdosing on iodine. So I told her and she was okay because Iodine is water soluble. The way you test for iodine levels, it is not a blood test. It's a 24 hour collection of your urine and it's urinary iodine is what you look at. And I have patients though that are way over the limit you might say, but it's like if you take too much water, you'll just urinate it out. So iodine also works on the thyroid. It works on any organ that secretes Years ago, if a woman would come in with breast cysts, nowadays we send them to the surgeon to get those cysts biopsied and whatever. But years ago, any woman with breast cysts, ovarian cysts, cysts on their body anywhere, the first thing they thought of was iodine deficiency. And I've given more women iodine and they will come back and they're like, they're gone. Not the breasts, but the cysts are gone. Same thing with ovarian cysts. So anyone that has that, think of iodine deficiency. And I will put them on iodine and usually in about three to four months, they're very pleased with the results. The FDA requirement for iodine is about 101 over 1 50th of a milligram a day. I use much higher doses. And I learned it really from the Japanese. The average Japanese person takes in about 13 to 15 milligrams of iodine a day. 
So I will put my patients on 10 to 15 milligrams of iodine a day. I like the, the other name we use here in America for the iodine that you can take in without poisoning yourself is Lugol solution. There are betadine and iodine products that you do not want to take, but Lugol solution is the iodine we use. And it's a 2% solution, meaning one drop is one milligram. One guy came in with a bottle of iodine and said, John, I got it much cheaper. And I said, yes, the dose is, you're, in this bottle that you paid $19 for, you have four doses because it was on micrograms. So you want the stuff that has one drop is one milligram. I put it in a little bit of juice. Uh, my sister puts it in water or just straight on her tongue. Tastes really iodine-y, it can stain, so I like to put a little bit of juice and it just, uh, the, the taste is much easier to take. And so I use it on a regular basis with my wife because iodine is also anti-estrogen, protection there with breast cancer. And for guys, we're finding that prostate cancer has an, uh, an estrogen component. So I also make sure the guys are on Lugol solution or iodine. I think it's very, very important. Because in our society, we have many products that we take that are anti-iodine. In Florida, we have a lot of people having these saltwater pools and they use bromide as part of the um, addition they give to the water for the saltwater pools. Bromide, which we also use in bake bakery products, binds iodine. Um, if you are, um, you know, eating a lot of non-iodized salt, you're not going to be getting in much iodine. So a lot of the patients really are in situations where we really aren't getting the iodine we used to get. People with goiters, years ago, and it's still true today, you think of iodine deficiency. So I really encourage my patients as just one of the minerals that they need on a fairly regular basis, maybe two or three times a week, whatever, but to take iodine. I do about 10 to 15 drops a day, 10 to 15 milligrams. For some that are very concerned, I'll start with one or two drops. It's also a great, great way to kind of liquefy cholesterol and make your skin smooth and silky. My wife says, I love to touch your skin, it's so soft and smooth. But talk to your doctor, and it is not a prescription, you can buy it over the counter, but iodine may be something that you need it turns T4 into T3. It can, in some people, raise the TSH levels in the thyroid exams, but it does. that is a false reading. And that's why I always, in looking at my thyroid patients, follow free T3. That's what the doctor should be looking at, free T3. I hope this has been helpful and I uh, look forward to talking to you again.